Should you install the iOS 15 beta? A question I think a lot of people are going to be asking themselves over the next month as we get closer to the public beta release. Let's start with the first major problem that both of us have run into, but in different ways, which is always a problem. Battery drain. Battery life, yep. Let's dive into the settings app. David, you want to start with your phone? Yeah, so this morning I wake up at 6.30 and I realized that my phone had no battery life. And I said, that's weird. Also, I planned to get up at 8.30, so I got kind of fortunate there that I didn't have my alarms get missed. But anyway, I digress. If I come down here to battery, you'll see here between 2 and 6 a.m., it just drops from 75 down to zero. What's going on? Screen on time, three minutes. What the heck was going on? What was going on? I don't know. I might have opened the camera accidentally. I doubt it. But three minute on time, I just, and I don't know. And it's camera audio. What? I don't even know how that would happen, but for whatever reason, the camera app crashed on David's phone. Yep, find my and exposure notifications were also using a little bit there. If I come down to the red here. Yuck. So it just, I, I couldn't believe it. When yeah, I that's, at the, uh, that's insane. So that's a bug. It's a bug. It's not David's fault. He didn't do anything wrong, but his battery died. It's too bad. That's what happens with betas. Settings on my phone. I'm going to come down here to battery. And if we take a look down here, I like to look first at the light blue versus the dark blue. I'm not sure why they didn't make them totally different colors, but light blue means screen off. So that means that your iPhone is asleep for somewhere, but it's still using battery because something on your iPhone is using a lot of battery. So if I look... Let's see, where was this? The tallest one happened, which means the most battery drain in the last 24 hours, happened between 8 and 9 a.m. this morning. And I can see it's Honda Link, which is an app from my car, which is essentially, well, it's kind of useless. I mean, it shows like the, the oil life and messages that never come from Honda. 92% in the background. Not supposed to happen. Mm -hmm. Probably because there's some sort of an incompatibility between Honda's app and iOS 15. This is why they have developer betas for the Honda developers so they can fix whatever this problem is before the public beta comes out and then definitely before the actual version comes out. So if I wanted to fix this, this is a pretty easy one. It says background activity, so where do I go? Settings, general, background, app, refresh. Very good, so I'll go back to settings and come up here to general, tap background, app, refresh. Now I just have to go way down to Honda link. And actually, I already turned it off because I saw that. Saw that, and you took good care of it right away. I took proactive action. So that's what you would do. And No, it's not going to drain my battery. Battery issues with beta is not too uncommon, but just be aware of that. Right. Now you are. Now you are. Let's talk about Focus. Cool new feature. You know, do not disturb on steroids now. They've really expanded it. <laughs> and uh, you can send an auto-reply message. You, I have a Focus going. Leave me alone. Don't message me. Here's right. what I'm doing. Exactly. However, the auto-reply is grayed out. You can't turn it on or set it up. And I've tried this with three different Focuses, so I, it, it doesn't work. I believe it's Foci. Foci it, it might it's be. It's not Foci. It's Focuses. Let's go back to settings. Scroll up here to Focus. Tap on focus status, auto reply switch grayed out. I'll even switch my focus here. Press and hold, control center. I don't know how to do personal. Again, what if I close the settings app? What if you do a backflip? What if I throw my turn, restart my phone, toss yeah. it out the window? It doesn't work. It's just it's not there yet. It's grayed out. Yep, they haven't built it in yet. It's interesting that they actually have it there, but it's kind of like a placeholder. It is. Let's talk about FaceTime on Android. One of the big new features. People Great are really excited about it. Super exciting. However, it doesn't always work. Yeah, we actually tried this uh, yesterday yep. with different phones. There's one of them, Pixel. Different iPhones. It would not work. Then we come in here yeah. to do a YouTube video earlier, and all of a sudden it worked, which is the first time anything ever worked while we were trying to do it on camera. Usually things don't work when yep. we're trying to do them on camera. We'll link to that video, card above. Description section below. So anyway, it works sometimes. Is it buggy? Yes. Yeah, it's going to be buggy. Right. Is this going to be a reason why you shouldn't install the beta? Probably not. But I wouldn't roll this out or to your friends that have Androids at this point and try to sell them on the fact that they should get an iPhone yeah. because it doesn't really work They're gonna that They're going to say, well. oh, it's a beta and it's broken. It's and broken. I told you, Apple's broken. stupid. You're Apple made right. a bad thing. They're stupid. 
Androids are so much better. Next, let's talk about Safari. Open up the Safari app here. Menu bar at the bottom. That's the first thing I noticed. It's kind of crazy. There's no refresh. You have to swipe down like this, like it's a social media app. Yep. There you go. It's refreshing the page. Menu bars at the bottom, and then it kind of goes and hides itself yep. down there, and you got to like tap on it and it comes back up. Weird. One frustrating thing that I've noticed is that as a page is loading, maybe you try to search for something else. If the page keeps loading, it's going to close out of the search and send you back to the page, and you have to go back and start all over again. Exactly. Let's, what, yeah, yeah, let me sorry. show you. So if I open up uh, this page, and I want to go search for something else, you know, uh, YouTube, you rube. There you go. It just Boom. happened. <laughs> yeah. It just kicks you out of things. Yeah. And it's what's strange about putting this down here is that it's really not that compatible with a lot of different websites. Do you mind if I go to uh, Urube? Urube, go for it. Okay. There's a lot of tapping in YouTube.com. So YouTube on mobile sticks this little menu bar thing down here at the bottom, which is now conflicting with this, and then it goes and hides, and you know, it's just like everything is in the way because we've been using the web with the address bar at the top for the longest time. Like I keep wanting to drag this. Yeah. The one thing I do like about it is that you can swipe right to left to create a new tab. Very cool. That only works though if you're on the all last the tab. Right. So yeah, if you're like if you're way over if here. you're like me and you've got dozens and dozens of tabs, right? Uh, it's going to take you a while to do that little to get all the way to yeah, it's kind of dumb. Yeah. Yeah. Another interesting FaceTime bug right now is that if your contact has an emoji in their contact name, the call might not work. Yes. Uh, not much more to say on that. If you run into that issue, remove the emoji from yep. their contact name. Yep, that's the fix for that's now. That's the fix yep. for and, now. And then send them a frowny face emoji. Similarly, you can't share play right now. Yeah, that's been unfortunate. We were out there trying to figure it out today, trying to share play HBO Max, which you're supposed to be able to do, and Hulu and a whole bunch of other things. Turns out it worked better during Apple's demo than it does in real life, of course. What a surprise. What a surprise. Shocking. But I mean, it's, it's a, the first beta. Things aren't going to work perfectly. But yep. if you were to install this beta and you're looking forward to trying out all these cool new features, either they don't work or they're not there or they're really clunky. So be careful. Make sure you back up your iPhone first. One last little design thing that I caught today. If you go into weather and you go into the list view, you want to get rid of, you know, a place. That, uh, that trash button is not not great. No, it's, it's, it's a little bit too tall. Too tall, the trash button, and it doesn't quite match the rounded corners yeah. aesthetic that they're going for. Uh, things are just funky. Ooh, that's funky. What is going... Ooh. <laughs> As we said a bunch of times, it's the first developer beta of a major new iOS update. It's not going to be perfect. Right. But just know that before you go to install it, because if you're expecting iOS 15... Right. It's not there. Thanks for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up. If you enjoyed, leave a comment down below. Any other bugs that you've caught, I'd be curious to see what those look like. Right. And uh, become a channel member. Right. We would really appreciate you if you became a channel member. Yes. Help support us. It's $5 a month, which is not a lifetime commitment. You could win a four-pack of AirTags. Yeah, assuming you sign up before July 1st. But every month, a new members-only giveaway. And as there's only a few people signed up right now, Odds are pretty good. You got like a 10% you know, chance. 10% chance of winning something big. It's good. Yeah, we'd love for you to sign up and we'll talk to you more. Yes, if you can't afford membership, subscribing too, always great. Thanks yes. for watching this video. Thanks.